and welcome to The Wayfaring Panda. I'm Annette. Today I'm participating in a YouTube hop with the Card Hopping Group, which is on Facebook, and we're originally from the group Handmade Happiness. The theme for the hop is sparkle. So I'm using this watercolor set that's from Art Philosophy by Prima, and it's their metallic pastel accents. And I'm also using these paper pieces I cut with a die from Hello Bluebird and this is the one called After the Rain Scene Die. So I cut these from watercolor paper and then I'm painting them with the watercolor set to give it some sparkle. I'm coloring the pieces that are part of the sky with the blue paint and I'm going over it as heavy handed as possible so that it shows up since these are pastel colors they're not very dark. I used the same die set back in July when I made a patriotic card and for that one I used pattern paper instead of doing the painting. So I like using things different ways and getting totally different looks so that it makes your products more versatile. Then I'm going to paint the stripes that are in the rainbow but there's only three of those so of course they're not going to be all the rainbow colors and my paint set doesn't have all those colors. So the first one I chose is this one that looks kind of a pinkish red. For the middle stripe I'm using the yellow. Now I don't know if the uh, metallic look is getting picked up on camera but it does look very shiny. For the bottom stripe of the rainbow I chose to use the one that looks purple in the pan but when you paint it it looks kind of more of a reddish violet. So for the clouds I tried using the paint that is in the pan on top that is the third one from the right and it looks kind of a creamy white but when you paint it if you notice on my work surface it really is kind of a purpley color but it goes on kind of off white but if you kind of turn it you can kind of see purple so it's kind of more of an iridescent so then I kind of sample it on a scrap piece of paper trying to decide what color to go with because I didn't really like how it was turning out so then I decided to go with the silver and then I painted all the clouds with the silver. Since I decided not to paint the clouds all different colors I thought it needed a little bit more pizzazz but I'll add that in the next step after the paint dries because the theme is sparkle but with our hop we also always have techniques we're supposed to use. So the technique choice we had is foiling our drops. So I'm going to use drops to add a little bit more pizzazz to my clouds. Finally I paint the frame for the die cut with the green. Off screen I stamped my unicorn stamp from Lawn Fawn from their Say What gift tags set and I just stamped the same unicorn on watercolor paper and I use VersaFine Clear ink, the black ink, the Nocturne ink and now I'm just going to paint those with my watercolors and I'm going to paint each one different. So I only have one unicorn stamp so I'm going to do a little bit different coloring on each one to make them look a little bit differently. I'm going to be using this card for my preschoolers because my girls are all into sparkles and unicorns. So of course I have to make a unicorn birthday card for one of my girls that's having a birthday this month. For the horses I'm just painting them all with the second color from the right at the top and that looks kind of like a white color and it does look kind of like you're painting with glitter almost and I don't know if the camera can pick that up. I did zoom in so that you can see me painting all four of these and hopefully with it zoomed in you can see a little bit more how sparkly this paint is. Now it does go over the lines but the lines in the stamping do show up and once it dries um, you can't really see that I'm painting over the lines. I painted the hooves with this coppery color and sometimes I got a little bit too much water and the color went outside of the hooves so then I just used a paper towel to dab it up. To make each unicorn a little different I decided to do the mane and tail different colors so with the first one I'm just painting it with the pink color. Uh, for the other unicorns I do the blue then the green and then finally I do the red violet color. Now I know it's not showing up as much on screen because it looks like it's kind of washed out with the lighting 
but on the card you can actually see the colors. After I finished my unicorns, then the paper pieces for the rainbow were already dried. So then I'm going to use my Nouveau Deluxe glue to glue everything onto my card base. Now I like to refer back to my die as I put it together so I can see where the pieces go. And of course I check to make sure I'm putting them in the right place before I add the glue. Another thing to keep in mind when you're paper piecing, I do it kind of like a puzzle. So of course I'm starting with the edge and then work in. Now I didn't show gluing in that last cloud piece and that's because I couldn't find it when I was filming this. And then while I was getting everything ready to do my embossing, then I found it underneath something. So then of course I glued it on. I decided to heat emboss the sentiment where the clouds are, so I'm going over that first with my powder tool so that when I stamp, the embossing powder only stick where I stamp. And the stamp I'm using is from Hello Bluebird from the Rainbow Script stamp set, and the sentiment I chose is Sending You Sunshine and Rainbows. And I'm using the embossing powder from Ranger called Aqua Tinsel, which has kind of a glittery mix to it. I'm not quite sure how the sentiments come out real clear because of the division where the line is on that. And also it is a thinner sentiment and with this embossing powder it's not real fine. But I wanted to use this color because it goes very well with the colors I used on the card and plus it's shiny. And the other thing is I'm giving it to someone who can't read it anyway. I used some foam squares to attach my unicorns to my card and I decided to place them down the rainbow and also on the clouds so it looks like they're sitting on the rainbow or sitting on the clouds. I didn't want them hanging in the sky. Now, I mentioned earlier that you were supposed to use foiling or drops, but I don't have a foiling machine, so I'm using drops. Now, I don't know if you consider stickles a drop or not, but you can make drops with them. But a lot of times I like to kind of just add different details and kind of color in. So I'm using my crystal stickles to color in the unicorn horns. I have a bottle of this pink enamel accents that I'm going to put on as drops. I don't think they make this anymore, but I'm sure Nouveau Drops has a pink. And also there's a new one that scrapbook.com has some called Pops of Color or something like that. I haven't tried those yet, but I would like to try those. Then I'm using my stickles again, and this is my favorite one. It's called Cool Mint, and I'm using that to outline some of my clouds to give it a little bit more color. And also that goes along with the embossing powder that I use and it kind of goes along with the green that I used from the watercolor. Next I decided to add some more crystal stickles to outline the bottom clouds and then I used my cool mint stickles to outline the top clouds. I decided that my unicorns needed a little bit more magic to them and they needed a little more color on this rainbow theme card so I added three of the pink dots around all of my unicorns. Now I will put a list of all the products that I used in the description below. Some of these will be affiliate links. They don't cost you anything extra to use but I do get a small commission from any sales that the links generate and that helps support my channel. I decided that the clouds looked like they needed a little bit more embellishment so I added some more dots with these white enamel accents and also more of the crystal stickles as dots on the clouds. That's a problem I have when I add things like drops and sequins. I never know how much is too much and how much is not enough. I kind of struggle with that. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like. And if you're not already a subscriber, I'd really appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel. If you are a subscriber, Thank you so much for your continued support. Also, as I mentioned, this is part of a YouTube hop. I will put a list of all the participants in the description below. Please hop along to the next person for some more inspiration on making shiny cards. I want to thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.